What's more important, rockets or cars? Actually, that's a good first question. <laughs> well, I guess, uh, I guess they're both important. Um, I guess my, my career is uh, Mar Mars and cars. Mars and cars. <laughs> um, so, you know, I think uh, we, we need to transition to sustainable energy and become a space faring civilization. Starting with space, um, why haven't you uh, gone, you know, Bezos went up, Branson went up. Do you want to go up? Is that on your to-do list in 22? Or how, how do you think about that yourself? I, I'm, I might, I will go up at some point. Um, but the, I mean, there, there is an underlying philosophy uh, that I, by which I aspire to guide my actions. And uh, that is to take the set of actions that maximize the probability that the future is good. Um, and hopefully not pave the, ho the road to hell with good intentions. So, uh, the you know SpaceX is the, the point of SpaceX is, SpaceX is to help make humanity a space faring civilization and ultimately a multi planet species, uh, so as to expand the scope and scale of consciousness, and ultimately better understand what questions to ask about the answer, which is the universe. Switching to risk in the context of Tesla the, and um, and autopilot, auto driving. I mean. Um, and the, one yeah. of our competitors had a big piece on that this weekend, and it's not all the way thought through, and it's, you know, back to risk. How do you think about, obviously, that's not zero risk either. You're, you're paving the way in that area. Autonomy is just, it's incredibly important in innovation because people spend um, hours, of, you know, many hours a week, uh, ultimately, you know, uh, uh, you know, many, I don't know, months of their lives probably in, in cars and stuck in traffic and, um, and then there's a lot of people that die in auto accidents. So worldwide, there's um, about a million automotive deaths per year. Uh, so uh, the vast majority of which are due to driver error. So, um, and uh, so if if we can have autonomy, that that would potentially solve, you know, save on the order of a million lives per year. And there's about 10 million you know, serious accidents where there's a permanent injury per year. So it's one of those things where. Um, you know, you, you're not going to get uh, rewarded for necessarily for the for the lives that you save, but you will definitely be blamed for lives yeah. that you yeah. don't save. Um, so, and I mean, there's a there was a you know something somebody, something somebody said to me at the beginning of when we were pursuing autonomy uh, said that uh, he said that you know even if you um, save ninety percent of the lives, the ten percent that you don't save are going to sue you. <laughs> right. <laughs> a lot of people are worried about. Uh, democracy, the future of democracy, the state of democracy. Part of that's tied to Silicon Valley. Wait, we have democracy? Well, I don't know. You, <laughs> yeah, are you? That, my question is, are you worried about democracy? Where? <laughs> here. Okay. For a start here. Um, I guess things are going okay in the grand scheme of things, you know. Um, it's easy to complain, but, I mean, the fact of the matter is uh, this is the most prosperous time in human history. So, um, but people's expectations always adjust to the, the, you know, like however good things get, people's expectations will always um, kind of recalibrate to how things are. But, you know, if we stand back and say like, okay, is there really some point in history where you'd, where you'd rather be? Um, and, and by the way, have you actually read history? <laughs> it wasn't great. <laughs> So, so I think you know we should be, I think, probably um, happier with the way things are than than maybe sometimes people are. 